Hey, how you doing? This is Todd, and I'm glad you've joined us for another weekly update of the VO Marketing Pro Group. We're glad you're a part of the group, as we always say, and we mean it. And uh, if you're not part of the group, then just check the links below, and there's going to be information there, people you can contact, and uh, information for links to get more information about VO Marketing Pro and what we do. So as you can see, we're in our different location again, and here's my son, Hudson. He's back again this week, and he'll be back every single week because... Uh, we are trying to get everybody used to this setup. We're trying to get everybody used to uh, seeing my dad and I interact with each other and get you kind of in the mode of the podcast. So this is what it's going to look like most of the time. Demond will be behind the camera and... It'll be us talking about our VO lives, whether they're interesting or not. So, And the podcast is called the... Original Father-Son VoiceOver Podcast. And uh, that's going to be hopefully launching soon, right? Yeah, we, the first weekend in April is what we hope. So, Because that coincides with my uh, first year of being in VoiceOver. And that's what we've kind of planned on since we started thinking about it before Christmas, having the idea and stuff like that. And we're going to have things like kind of a segment of Todd's tips where we talk about different VO related things, especially direct email marketing. And we have interviews mm -hmm. that we're going to line up with, uh, you know, different people. And uh, then of course we have um, uh, uh, the updates that we're mm -hmm. going to have. And Hudson's going to be start, he's going to start sharing his numbers starting next week, I think, right? Yeah, hopefully Hudson? I have enough. Hopefully I have. <laughs> hopefully you have some numbers. Hopefully I have something, yes. Well, well zero is a number. That's true. So you know that. yeah, it's zero better than negative. Number. Yes. Yes, that's true. Very true. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll have your update and my update for this week. Next week, we'll have Hudson's update as well. But we'll have your update and my update in just a few minutes. But first, um, for this week and at least next week, I wanted to talk uh, to our VO Marketing Pro group about this subject, that voiceover is, in my mind, as I've been doing this for over 12 years now, is first and foremost a mental game. It's first and foremost a mental game. And that's something that Hudson and I talk a lot about. And both being athletes, Hudson's still great athlete, uh, especially a great baseball player. We talk about the mental aspect a lot of sports. And it goes that way with life in general and business and music and, uh, you know, the armed forces, all these different things. So it's a mental game first and foremost. But before I give you some mindsets, some mental mindsets, I want to, just as I always do, provide this caveat. It's this, that your business is your business. It's none of my business. And so anytime I give advice, it's totally up to you whether you want to take it to heart and put it into practice. But just so you know, this is how I've operated my business, how it's become successful by having these types of mindsets. And it's what Hudson and I talk about regularly. So as we start out, just a little preface. VO coaches and gurus, they talk a lot about the following. A quiet workspace. And that's critically important. A quiet workspace is very, very important if you're going to produce good audio. Also good equipment like a mic, interface, preamp, DAW, plugins, a CRM for marketing, all of those different things. They're important. No doubt about it. I'm not saying that it's not important. Also, coaches and gurus talk about a marketing plan and uh, making sure that you have a good marketing plan. Again, critical to your success as a VO talent. Coaching. Coaching is great. Training is great. Of course, that's important. And finally, great demos. And they talk about other things, but great demos. Of course, you have to have great demos. And they talk about all of these things. And all of these things are good and important and essential. However, if you don't have the right mentality, all of these things will fail to get you to where you want to get to, and that is to have a successful voiceover career. So I've uh, written down 10 essential VO voiceover mindsets that I'd like to talk with you about at least the next couple of weeks 
maybe the next three weeks. And Hudson will chime in where he feels like he has something to offer uh, or maybe a question or I'll have a question for him. We're only going to do this for a few minutes. So hang on. 10 VO mindsets. And now these aren't necessarily in importance of order or exhaustive, and they often kind of blend together and even overlap. So just listen and see if there's something that maybe would be an encouragement to you. The first VO mindset is VO is a business mindset. You've heard probably every coach say it, and this is why it's true. This is why they say this, that it's important to have a VO mindset that's a business mindset, because it's true. If you don't run your business as a business, then it's probably just a hobby, mm. which is fine. <clears throat> if you want to have a hobby, do voiceover as a hobby, more power to you. Or just something you do on the side. That's fine. But if you want it to be a business and a successful business, you have to think like a business person. You got to be customer centric. You got to work hard. You got to have excellent communication. You've got to be disciplined. You've got to be organized. You've got to be good at getting work, doing work, and then getting paid for your work. That's all part of being a business person, having a business mindset. So that's the first one. And we could go on. We could you know, have a whole uh, time, you know, four or five minutes, maybe 10 minutes or more uh, on these, each one of these. But I'm going to move on and maybe we'll come back to these at another time. So the first one is a business mindset. The second is a long haul mindset. Here's the point. Very few people in any kind of endeavor that's worth doing, whether it's business or sports or music or acting or being a tradesman or in academia, on and on and on, find immediate success. It's the old adage that Rome wasn't built in a day. And that's still true. It takes time to build a good business, a good solid business. Now, there are some people that are immediately successful. But that's an anomaly. It's the long haul mindset. And again, we could talk about that for a long time. But first of all, business mindset. Second of all, long haul mindset. Third, it's a numbers game, not just for marketing, but really for business. It's a numbers game isn't only true of marketing. As I said, it's true of many aspects of business. It's true of the hours and days and weeks and years of work that you have to put in. It's a numbers game to push that boulder up the hill. There's lots of learning and honing of your skills and understanding the industry. It's taken me a long time to really get my, my arms around the voiceover industry and understand it. Um, investing more money and time and energy <clears throat> than you get back right away. It's a numbers game. And so it's definitely a numbers game. And that's just not a direct email marketing mindset. So let's talk about this last mindset today that we're going to talk about. We'll talk about more in the weeks to come. Here's a fourth VO mindset. Get knocked down and get back up mindset. In other words, get used to being rejected. And I don't mean that negatively. That's a positive thing. You have to get used to being rejected. As I said when we started out, Hudson, you wouldn't say this, of course, because you're humble um, and it wouldn't sound very good anyway for you to say, but you're a great baseball player. You Thanks. won the state tournament your senior year. You were all conference uh, for three years in a row. You're just a great little baseball player uh, growing up. What is a, like you hit 500 this last summer, which is yes. unheard of mm -hmm. at any level. But what's a good batting average for like a major league baseball uh, yeah, uh, well, player? Probably around 300, mm. one every three at bats. So three out of every 10 at bats is a Hall of Famer in, in the MLB. And obviously I'm not playing in the MLB. So there is a caveat there when I'm hitting 500, but it's not easy to do that. So and at your level, hitting mm -hmm. 300 with your skill set and who you're playing with, that's that's still a good that's yeah, still a good mm -hmm. batting that's usually, that's usually in the top yeah. two or three. So, so you have to get used to being rejected, if you will. I mean, you're only successful one out of three times, right? Yeah, one, most people are. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's yeah. usually the... And, and as you've been starting out, you've found a little bit of a, <laughs> I got to get back up after I've... Get yeah, I, down mindset. We were just talking about that this morning. Yeah, especially with the last couple, probably, what was it, two weeks ago, I think I had, I got a an order on Fiverr and it was one of those things that was a little bit too good to be true. And I 
I've been trying to learn how to look out for those things because I know that there can be some shysters and mm-hmm. stuff like that mm-hmm. on Fiverr, people that are trying to kind of use you. Um, and their their time zone didn't fit up with where they were at. And I kind of put that in my mind and I thought, hmm. But they were willing to, you know, do a bunch of orders for me and stuff like that. So I thought, well, I'll go for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> come to find out, I had sent them three different read styles and they came back with, you sound like a robot. And I thought, wow, okay, that's Heard that before. That's kind of tough. I sound like an, I've never gotten that before, which, you know, I've done plenty of jobs. Anyway, that was a little, I wasn't like so disappointed with that. I thought, well, I can, I can figure this out. So then I gave them, you know, three more read styles and they came back and said that I sounded like a robot still. And I thought, wow, this is, this is probably one of the toughest ones I've had. Um, and so then I said, well, you know, sometimes the voiceover doesn't fit with, the script, just trying to be, you know, nice and saying that maybe it was my fault. Um, so I sent them three more reads, different reads that were even more trying to be less of a robot. So, um, and at that point they canceled the order and that was my first canceled order. And of course, if anybody else knows about Fiverr, they are very customer centric and they, basically puts you in a doghouse. Mm -hmm. And for the last two weeks, I haven't had a single inquiry on Fiverr after being, for me, I had 1400 impressions and was getting a fair amount of clicks. Now that might not be a lot compared to someone like you, but for me, that's the most I've ever had. Yeah, And I was getting work consistently on there and getting good reviews. And then one bad one, whether it was my fault or not, which whatever, I'm willing to say that I'm not God's gift to, to the voiceover realm. So, um, Maybe I wasn't sounding as good as I could, but either way, that cancellation knocked me down from where I was at 100%, 100% completion rate down to all the way down to 90. And I was not, I was in a little bit fear of going back down to a level one mm-hmm. after being a level two. Um, so fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. Um, but I haven't had a single peep out of Fiverr. And that's been that's been somewhat tough for me because... I've been able to count on that. And I guess that's just another caveat to diversifying your streams of income. Yeah, right. Exactly. Not just being on Fiverr or, mm-hmm. you know, <clears throat> chained to Fiverr, where, whether, you know, ups, you're, you're great with it, downs, you're bad with, you know, it's like, oh, I can't get anything. Really working on having direct email marketing, whether you do it yourself, finding people, emailing them, or having somebody else do it like what VO Marketing Pro does. Um, and then getting on different rosters that are maybe free that you can catch a job here and there, stuff like that. Um, so that's been somewhat of an eye opening experience for me. Um, it's been kind of one of my first real um, trials as it comes to voiceover. So, yeah, but you're having to learn that when you get knocked down, instead of just saying, I'm done with Fiverr, yeah. <laughs> which is a temptation, which, there's no doubt which about I was, it. I yeah. felt like doing, I yeah. was like, I just right. want to be done with these guys because right. it's like, I, did everything I could. And yet I'm still being punished, punished yeah, for it. And exactly. Whatever. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I had you to, have to keep that. your wits about mm-hmm. you. And that's why, you know, you can't, uh, we've talked about that before. You can't ride that emotional roller coaster where you end up saying, well, I'm done with Fiverr then. Well, all that work that you've done over the last year is then <laughs> mm-hmm. down the drain and you kind of want to punish them back for punishing you. And that doesn't usually no. work with other, mm-hmm. you know, okay, you just can't have that kind of an attitude. And that's one of the reasons I, we want to start a podcast. Mm-hmm. That's just a little bit of an advertisement that that's why we want to is because you're telling that story and it's a different side as far as, you know, I did the same thing back in the day. Uh, that isn't so familiar for me. That kind of sure. territory mm-hmm. isn't as familiar, but it is for you and it is for a lot of folks out there too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just giving them once again, a realistic view, a, an honest view of what's going on yeah. um, because I am up and coming and it's just, it's what happens. So yeah. being honest with it and my last couple of weeks have been very, very slow. And so it's been, it's been a mindset tester for mm-hmm. me um, and just continuing to send out emails and be faithful with that. So yeah, I'm hoping the uh, lights at the end of the tunnel here shortly. Yeah. So <laughs> 
having a get knocked down, get back up mindset is very important. You have to get used to being rejected, whether it's a situation like that with a client on Fiverr, Fiverr in general, lots of auditions and only getting a job here or there, marketing efforts, lots of direct email market, you know, emails out there and only a few warm replies. You have to get used to getting rejected. You've got to, you got to get some, you know, some rhino skin when you're in this business. And so let me just go over those again quickly. Have a business mindset, a long haul mindset, a numbers game mindset, and get knocked down and get back up mindset. So those are the four that we'll talk about this week and then next week we'll delve in to a few more. So thanks a lot for being honest and sharing mm-hmm. that in no the information. So let's get to your update. So it's a quick one and then I'll tell you about my numbers and we'll close up shop here for our update. Um, For your direct email marketing, everybody involved in VO Marketing Pro, there were 44 warm responses. So that's great. Warm responses being, hey, like your voice, keep you in mind. What are your rates? All sorts of things like that. So that's good. Those are the people that want to hear from you again. So make sure you stay in touch with them. 44 warm responses, 15 auditions, and two jobs were booked this week. Just between you and I and the fence post, I had two people that I thought I was going to be getting jobs, new clients from this week, and I don't know where they went to. So That's hopefully actually it'll be the, the same week. as me as I had two, and they ended okay. up going with a female, uh, which obviously there's nothing I can do because yeah. I don't have a very good female impression. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Your voice is too low, most yeah, certainly. So I don't yeah. know what's happened with those, but yeah, hopefully they'll show up in, in next week when I have my numbers. So yeah, that'd be nice. That would be. So, um, and then my update is this for my week. um, Let's see here. By the way, I have at least one job waiting for me downstairs that I've got to complete after we're done here. So my platforms this week were $3,175 and my direct email marketing was $4,075 for a total of $7,250. So there was a good week this week. I've been kind of averaging around between five and six thousand. So $7,250 for my voiceover week. Yours is coming. So I just sure hang in so. there. We'll keep working on those <laughs> mindsets. So there you have it. Uh, and uh, don't forget, you've got a link. Oh, yeah. So don't forget about we that. have our original father-son voiceover podcast uh, pilot that we did. Um, and we're just going to post that onto YouTube. I have a YouTube page for the original father-son voiceover podcast. And what I'll do is once I post that, I will link that to the original Father Son Voiceover Podcast Facebook, and you can reach it there. Um, once again, that's the original Father Son Voiceover Podcast. So great. It'll be there. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.